हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय क्लासेस इंस्पायर विथ अनुष्का स्टूडेंट्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज डिफ्यूजन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म वी विल सी द डिफ्यूजन विथ रेफरेंस टू द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज दैट हाउ इट अफेक्ट्स द प्रोसेस द लिविंग प्रोसेस सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक बिकॉज दिस टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी सो लॉन्ग एंड फॉर हैविंग द क्लियर एंड करेक्ट व्यू ऑफ दिस टॉपिक please be continue with me till the end of the video because i am not going sure that if you uh, you will understand my half watching this video so please continue with me till the end i am sure that your doubts will be remain uh, make it clear so without doing any delay let's start the topic diffusion play a role in the uptake of the substance within or organi- uh, organism or between the organism present in the environment this is a normal topic in microscopic single celled organism diffusion is the only means to exchange the gases during the respiration and expulsion or the removal of substance that is called excretion okay we have already uh, studied that uh, by diffusion process also uh, the amoeba perform all their life functions so we will watch the role of diffusion in the respiration in single celled animal oxygen is taken in the form of external environment into the body by the diffusion and carbon dioxide is given out in the external environment by the same process so the gaseous diff- uh, the gas is diffused through the general body surface in larger multicellular animal diffusion is too slow to meet the demand of the living tissues because the number of cells are very much long than the unicellular organism different organism like fishes amphibians and mammals uses the different means for the gaseous exchange in plants the gaseous exchange mechanism is very simple the genes diffuses through the the gases diffuses through the stroma presents in the lower parts of the leaf and the lenticles of the woody stems and the surface of the roots also oxygen moves in the inside the plant through this stomata pore or the lenticles by the simple diffusion in the form of intercellular sap from their intercellular sap the oxygen diffuses across the cell membrane into the cell similarly co2 diffuses from the cells in the intercellular space and then through the stroma and lenticles to the exterior the roots absorbs oxygen and give out carbon dioxide into the soil in the roots diffusion occurs across the membrane surface of the living cells so students in submerged aquatic plants also that's like in the algae that is chlamydomonas and spirogyra the gaseous diffusion through the body surface is already studied by us so we will watch that the role of diffusion in excretion firstly we have uh, learned the role of diffusion in respiration now the term is for the role of diffusion in excretion in organism like amoeba or paramecium hydra most of the metabolic waste are removed through the general surface of the body that is a simple process of diffusion specialized organism or the excretion are taken in the larger organism role in the transport of materials in unicellular and simple multicellular organism diffusion is a major method never forget that diffusion is a major method by which the transportation of materials occurs into single cell organism that's why for example is amoeba paramecium chlamydomonas and some algae in simple multicellular organism like hydra and spirogyra transportation occurs by the process of diffusion so it is very clear that in unicellular organism every function is occurring with the process of what diffusion in multicellular organism the mechanism of transportation in the multicellular and higher organism is much more elaborated so friends be concentrate here the process of diffusion which is slow cannot meet the requirement of the transportation to all parts and short period of time in animals transportation is carried out through the circulatory system in higher plant there are special tissues like xylem and phloem also known as the conducting tissues which helps in the transportation of materials so friends this is all about the process of diffusion which occurring in the living organism 
once again we will look this topics for the better study uh, with the reference to the topics that osmosis so higher organism mein jab bhi koi process ke through hoga movement wo osmosis ka process hoga aur lower organism unicellular mein humne dekha life ki most of the itni works hai wo perform hoti hai kisse diffusion ke process se so never forget यूनिसेलर थिंग्स जितने भी होंगे उनमें लाइफ की सारी प्रोसेसेस डिफ्यूज़न के थ्रू परफॉर्म होंगी और मल्टी सेलर जितने भी चीज़ें होंगे उनमें लाइफ की प्रोसेसेस में मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट यानी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई कैन नॉट मेक इट क्लियर कि हाँ हमेशा बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द प्रोसेस आर अकिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ऑसमोसिस सो फ्रेंड्स If you have liked the video, then please press the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe my channel. If I am able to clear any of your doubt, then I will feel very proud for that. Please put it in the comment section that what you have learned from this video, and do you have any suggestions for me? I am waiting for that. Thank you so much for watching.